I highly recommend you get a big box and put a brand new trench coat in it. Yes, yes, and hell yeah. I never ever want to take this outfit off. Bury me like this. This is delicious. All Saints are selling loafers like these for $350 to $400. And H&M are selling them for $100. It's a no-brainer. Assistance? Anyone? Hopeless. Absolutely hopeless. So hard to find good staff these days. Don't mind me and my most likely 15 year old cream cleanser. We are prepping for this fashion video by cleaning a stain off my wardrobe that's probably about, hmm, I'd say almost as old as me. And before you're tempted to click off this video, yes, this is a fashion haul and styling video. And no, I'm not making a fashion statement with my rubber gloves. If I was to make a statement though, I'd say, clean your room. <laughs> clean your room. Thanks, mum. Clearly, don't take advice from a woman who it's taken about approximately 25 years to clean this off her wardrobe. Right, done with that. Let's get into it. Sorry to begin my video with life admin slash uh, setup because I'm my own director, producer and set designer on this show. I know, world's smallest violin. Anyway, gloves are coming off. Let's get into it. My apologies everyone for the hectic start to this video or the unconventional start. I am however not a person of convention. Trying to pull content together with three children, a husband, a grumpy mother, work and life hurdles is no mean feat. But I am grateful for these challenges because it only makes this time so so much sweeter and intense. Some people perform under pressure. For me, added pressure makes me panic. I'm glad to share it with you. Enjoy. So efficiency is the name of the game today. Unfortunately, I don't know how that works, but fake it till you make it. So winding aside, why are we here today? Why are you stopping by my channel for my advice? Well, it's a very great question actually. It's quite um, debatable. <laughs> I think I've cornered myself. Today I'm serving you six autumn looks that will make people stand back and observe you like fine art. I view fashion as a chance to express myself and express my mood through my outfits. Others might see it just basically to clothe themselves and carry on throughout their day and that used to be me until I took a quiz, found my personal style and here we are today. I have now flourished into my womanhood with a fresh perspective on fashion as being a statement of you. Now my style may not be your style and that is totally fine. I'm just here to serve you a little bit of inspo, something a little bit different for autumn so we don't all go marching around in the same uniform of leggings and Ugg boots, which I am completely, completely guilty of. And I just realized, did I say six? I meant eight. I'm going to serve you eight key pieces to style eight key looks for this autumn to spice up your wardrobe or have a plan of what to pull out in the morning to give you the motivation to carry on throughout your day, whatever you're doing. You'll have mum friendly, work friendly, kid friendly, going out friendly. I thought I'd cover just a little bit of everything with these key eight pieces. And why eight? It's not very metric system, is it? Another profound question which demands another profound answer of which we are not here for. So. Let's get into the goodies, shall we? Key wardrobe item number one, a matching loungewear set. I'm actually going to be wearing this one for the majority of this video. It is in a pure silk and I'll show you how I would style this up or down for around the home. I found this on H&M's premium selection and they are doing quite a few silk pieces. And if you don't believe me, I saved the tag. It's in a pure silk. And I feel like they're copying a lot of those other silk companies out there trying to keep up, but obviously halving the price point by bringing a lot of essentials such as this collared shirt, some trousers, and I have to say, I'm really, really impressed with the quality. Now, I'm very, very determined to make this new setup work. However, it just may not. Look one, is this lounge suit in the pure silk from 
H&M. This shirt is really elongated, which is a little bit awkward, I'm not going to lie. But I've decided to make it a bit more chic by buttoning it up all the way to the collar. And I really do love this conservative preppy look like this. As I didn't want this to be too slouchy, I wanted to make this a little bit more refined. Button up sleeves, which add to the refinement of this loungewear piece. Super comfortable and breathable, obviously, because it is in a pure silk. And the pants are elasticated. As you can see, that didn't quite work out. I just could not make that setup work. And I did buy this mirror for a reason, so we are going to use her and abuse her. Well, no, never abuse her. We're just going to make the most of a good situation. Anyway, where was I? Pants come elasticated, comfortable. They're super high-waisted as well. Come with pockets, which are really nice feature so you can really get into the lounge stance love love a good lounge stance and a lounge stance is never complete without a pair of slippers because this is how i would be wearing this around the home and these slippers by the way are an absolute bargain find from kmart oh i've got people summoning me it's it's like nothing can be done without me uh I think they'll be right, to be honest. I think uh, I need to let the reins go slightly so people can figure it out for themselves. Anyway, personal side note aside, that's a lot of sides. This is how I would wear this half tucked, the rest is dangling free. And the cuffs are elasticated, which I think are a nice cute little element. This could also honestly be worn as pajamas, but for me, I'm passing it off as loungewear because telling your friends and family that you've been in your pajamas all day and exactly a thing. I'm actually very proud of myself. I'm saving time by filing away my pieces as we go. Option two for a loungewear set. I have this little two piece. It's a quilted short with a really chunky <laughs> cropped knit by a brand called Shona joy i absolutely love this designer they are the queens of tailoring and they also really love a dramatic cinched in waist or a good shoulder they are just really into angles and this little cohort set definitely delivers if you want to lounge you want to do it in this before i put this on i just have to show you the scrumptious label i mean that is what you call a keeper. This is a bookmark. Oh my goodness, I was scrambling around looking for these loafers and lo and behold, they were on display. Also in the process, lost my camera. It is getting to that hour of the evening where I am flustered because people are uh, demanding me. I'm short on time and also still suffering from that distracted hunger fuzz brain. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yes, the tone of the Alessa, I've already forgotten, the Alessa Story quilted short with this top does not match. However, I don't care because I am in love. And that's the thing about fashion, there are rules, but if you love something, you must wear it and you must wear it together in totally the wrong form because it makes you feel great. And the pattern on pattern makes me feel wonderful not to mention i actually like the way the different tone of the bottoms breaks up the very yellowy cream to this jumper this is also by shona joy this is part of their eva story so it's one of their chunky knits very very heavy for a cropped knit but loved how you got a little bit of gee i wish i knew the different types of knits maybe i'd call this a cable no sorry this is a cable this would be your knit pearl situation when i used to do knitting um <laughs> and also the patchwork knit on the sleeves this detail is just just so thoughtful and to get all four different kinds of knits in the one top is just a bargain for me it's a no-brainer such a bargain now these shorts are mm, succulent what shona joy do well like i mentioned is high waist and silhouettes they know women's bodies 
and how we want to look. Basically, we all want to look like Kim K. Not that we all can, but, and, and I'm not saying that I do, it's creating the illusion of a very hourglass figure. So basically everything being in proportion. So we've got the real exaggerated shoulders with the real exaggerated bottom and just creates the most effortless, wonderful look. Now you may be thinking, gee, it's quite a concern that your legs are out during this season. However, when there is a crossover from summer to autumn, it is still very hot. So wearing a short like this is very, very reasonable. Now I've brought in one of my fashion trends a little bit early before I've talked about it, but I've paired it here with a casual canvas loafer. These are by Seed, absolutely comfortable with a lovely leather piping around the middle actually no it's not leather piping it's just a fabric piping and then a little bit of leather around the front sole of the shoe I never ever want to take this outfit off bury me like this this is delicious now before you all start questioning my sanity which Really, I don't blame you. I keep the tags on clothing because I actually want to remember what the style is of the top. So when I get around to showing it to you, as I don't always, I, I'm always short on time to be uh, efficiently uh, shopping things and then showing you straight away. I always like to leave a little reminder by leaving the tag on the clothing. Not to mention if the style does come around again, it's really good to know what collection it was from. So this collection here was Eva, this one was Alessia or Alyssa. I will not butcher that again. But that is one of the reasons why I leave the tags on clothing so I don't forget it for you guys. Because my brain most of the time is the consistency of scrambled egg. The second key piece to your wardrobe, you will be needing a blazer. Could be in any color. I have mine here in a tweed or houndstooth pattern, preferably in a neutral color. Nothing too loud. We want browns, blacks, beiges, just keeping it very, very subtle and pairing it with items such as jeans or even a workwear pant or a flare pant, some chunky loafers. Mm, that'll be coming in my next item. I'm skipping ahead, but having a blazer in your wardrobe, throwing it on a very, very casual or basic outfit. Kim K even does it over track pants, which I don't think I'm bold enough to do today, but this is another key piece that every autumn wardrobe needs and that will see you through year after year after year. I will never need to replace this blazer. And also make sure it fits you. Slightly relaxed or oversized is preferable. Don't go too, too tailored because again, we change over the years and you really want to get your price per wear as we move through the stages of our lives. I am actually quite shocked and surprised and that's the fact that I like this outfit. When I conjured up the thought that I would have to wear some jeans this evening. I was not a very happy chappy getting out of my loungewear. However, however, once I threw on the blazer over the jeans, I all of a sudden forgot I was wearing jeans and I am transformed into somebody that is quite smart, casual, yet comfortable. And I hope you can see what I mean by having the blazer slightly oversized as being an advantage. I feel that the blazer becomes the feature of the outfit, which is what we want here. We don't want it to fade into the background. And I've made sure that I have made the blazer the feature by keeping whatever's underneath very, very basic and solid colored. I thought that a really dark denim would be appropriate in keeping with the autumn winter season and just paired it with a basic double layered tank top. These both, the blazer and the top, are from Forever New and quite a stable collection I think these tank tops are. Can't recommend them highly enough. Super soft and double layered so it skims over any imperfections. The tweed of the blazer really brings the autumn home. These are the straight loose jean. I have banged on about these jeans for gee probably 12 months. So if you look back through my videos you'll see how much I've spoken about these jeans but Cotton On has brought them back for this autumn winter and what I love about these jeans is that they have a really relaxed silhouette that really skims over the hips and the thighs so nothing tight, super comfortable and really gives a nice A-line silhouette. A massive, massive trend I have noticed for a few months now is, well, allow me to demonstrate. I picked this up 
from Seed. I've been eyeing it off for a very, very long time. Oh, it feels divine. Mm. It is a striped knit. Stripes are very, very in. They've made a comeback. Very coastal, nautical, but I've seen many a chic woman wearing stripes this season, either in the beige and white or a black and white and black and white I find it a little bit too harsh on me together so I went for a beige and cream striped mock neck knit this is by obviously seed many a high-end fashion designer are bringing this pattern out as well and many of the mid-tier designers are also bringing out their own version of the Celine's and the totems and all of them fancy schmancy brands of which I clearly know so so much about I love how my hair is getting more and more disheveled as this video goes on by the end of this video I believe I'm going to have a helmet head and also surprised at myself that I'm so committed to the cause that I went and steamed this slip skirt from my collection I bought this slip skirt last year from seed and incidentally I am wearing a full seed outfit love that place they are really bringing out some wardrobe keepers like capsule wardrobe keepers that you will wear on repeat year after year of which I have tried to style this jumper with this slip skirt but I'm feeling like I'm looking very top heavy and then quite small on the bottom so I'm not sure if the slip skirt is the way to go with this look what do you guys think I'm trying to think what I can do with this to maybe balance myself out a little bit actually you know what it is it's the stripes because stripes widen of course I mean I knew this growing up as a child do not wear stripes but they're in we must wear we are capsuling perhaps if I was to do a different kind of tuck maybe let's see it's all about the tuck these days let's do a tuck to the side oh my goodness completely completely different silhouette that is so much balanced okay I can be at peace now this is trend number three which is the stripe there's a lot of them out where huh? there's a lot of them out there sorry for the word confusion I have nine minutes on my hands to put this video together okay <laughs> let's let's get out of the panic room all right I did say we were going into the panic room and this is this is how I've become I can, I'm Ill, in, in, inintelligible illegible un, unapproachable illiterate illiterate is that is that the word anyway right change the silhouette so for me for my body shape because I am very much a triangle an upside down triangle uh, having the stripes go further down the body is more flattering for me you could always pair this top with some jeans of course really casually I wanted to really give this look a go with the slip skirt because I just love being comfortable and I love getting a slip skirt out not to mention and we are jumping the gun here goes with the next trend I will be discussing it's pretty obvious what what that is at this point I have to say the knit of this jumper is super luxurious it drapes so beautifully and even though I've had this lying on the floor waiting for me to try it on it is not creased I mean how is that how is that possible technologically also love the height of this roll neck stopping just just under that chinny chin chin so very limited risk of getting makeup on this jumper if of course you end your makeup at an appropriate point on your face also great you're going to do a little hair tuck in the roll neck and just leave a few loose strands it's another great way of wearing this piece a scrunchie and a top who knew autumn essential number four is the humble waistcoat yes the very masculine waistcoat is making its way back into women's fashion I believe it was very much an 80s trend but I am so here for it it's especially flattering for people like myself that have a very very broad torso I was searching for words there or broad shoulders so used to do a lot of swimming hence now have fantastic broad straight shoulders that are very triangular so having a waistcoat just cuts the figure a little bit so the eyes are not so much drawn to the shoulder but drawn 
to the middle of you so just hence making you sort of sort of shrinking your torso slightly so I'm very much here for the waistcoat trend you can wear this more formally which I will obviously style up and show you however you can also wear the casual vest or sleeveless vest as well for a more daytime appropriate look this was such a find from H&M as soon as it came out I snapped it up and so did a lot of other people so I hope I can find a similar one for you or link the exact one down below if it hasn't sold out already this is a puffer vest but in a tweed and it's actually a proper tweed so it's quite fuzzy and warm it's also filled and lined it is an absolutely mm, premium premium piece that H&M has put out also found another vest from H&M in a much lighter fabric so having issues opening parcels which has never happened before what drew me to this initially was the fact that it came slightly quilted and had a really nice thick hemming detail to the sleeves and to the front so I'm actually not quite sure how I'm going to be styling this up yet but we shall find out also the colors being neutral it'll practically go with anything Right, let's go through the waistcoat situation. I have paired this black waistcoat from last season from Witchery actually, and most likely they're going to bring it around again. Paired it with some H&M flared trousers, which belong to a suit actually, which I wore for my husband's birthday recently and absolutely loved every minute of it and it's really nice to have your arms free especially in restaurants or situations where it might be a little bit hot and also makes a wonderful addition when paired with a blazer because everything just cohesively just just works this is one of these allow me to demonstrate situations <laughs> so this is the suit that goes with these pants from H&M such an affordable find and the tailoring honestly the padded shoulders the two buttons on the breast it's very hard to see in this light but the pocket details just everything I just thought was so so modern for a female suit and female suits are a real real thing now which I absolutely love I love feeling like a powerful fashionable strong glamorous woman so this makes me feel like that and the vest just works in seamlessly with this outfit I've also worn this vest more casually by popping just a simple basic long sleeve top underneath with an unbutton to let the underlayer come through a little bit. So many ways to wear this little bolero or vest top. Really took this vest to an unexpected place. Now when I popped it on I was like, ooh, I, uh, I'm not quite sure about this. However, we have made it work by doing a little bit of layering which is your best best friend at this time of year play around with it but I just remembered what drew me to this vest is the fact you can poof it out at the waist because it has absolutely horrendously giant pockets which I love so you can really create again that real exaggerated silhouette with the super super angular sleeves paired it with a knitted mock neck top underneath and what I love also about this time of year with the mock neck is that you don't have to wear any accessories with it I mean you can if you wish however the neckline just sort of speaks for itself so you don't really have to go too far with your accessories and keep it to a minimum so it really cinched in at the waist and paired it with a very unlikely item in my closet which are these wide leg vegan leather trousers so once again balancing the heaviness of the top with the bottoms and this is the vest of dreams this is the puffer vest in the tweed by H&M and just wearing it very casually with a black long sleeve top and some leggings yes I do on occasion wear casual in fact that is my main attire so I feel very very comfortable basically attending any casual affair in this outfit or popping down to the shops or school drop-offs or pickups this is very very appropriate super wearable and loving bringing in a bit of pattern and a bit of warmth and autumnal country vibes with this tweed pattern key for this time of year this is really starting to look like a h&m haul isn't it and to be fair 
if you're looking for an affordable trend piece, H&M is a great place to shop because I find the quality is high for what they're putting out. They're not quite at the fast fashion stage. They're a lot more conscious and the pieces that they do put out that are quite on trend are, I'd say, at a maybe slightly more expensive than some of the other fast fashion retailers out there, but the quality, I can't speak highly enough. So you can continue to wear these pieces till the end of your days, really. Right, I've spoken far too long. Essential, essential autumn winter piece for 2023 seems to be the chunky loafer. I've seen this kind of schoolgirl trend creep into the end of last year, especially in the States, and it's made its way finally to our shores. But again, totally here for it. I was very there for the chunky, ugly slide trend that was for summer, and it's actually rather flattering because having a really chunky footwear gives the illusion not only of height because the sole is elevated by these very, very chunky rubber bits underneath, but the wideness of the shoe really does make the leg look a lot slimmer than it actually is. So it creates a wonderful illusion effect, almost like a really exaggerated shoulder pad look, but for your feet, thus making the rest of you look that little bit more snatched. So found these loafers with a lovely gold buckle detail at H&M, and this is part of their premium selection. So it is in a proper leather, it is a patent leather, and I have worn these out a few times, not a scratch on them, still as shiny and super, super comfortable. And obviously you don't always have to go for a chunky loafer. Loafers in this particular season are always in. So I had found these from Seed. They're actually a canvas loafer and they're backless. A backless loafer can be worn in spring, can also be worn in autumn when we're kind of transitioning, the weather is slightly mild, so having a backless shoe is totally appropriate for around the house or just popping out to the shops. Now the loafers are on and you have seen me actually work this in <laughs> with a look already, but I wore this complete outfit to my husband's birthday and it was just fab. The chunky soles gave a nice bit of hidden height underneath these flared trousers, which was very welcome because nobody wants to be dragging their trousers along the floor, but it also allows the trousers to give you more length, which I absolutely loved. Super, super comfortable. And the chunky loafer trend is very, very much a thing. So was able to modernize this little power suit here with the addition of the chunky loafer. This is my favorite way to wear the loafer with a lot of ankle showing because this is where the silhouette comes into play. The whole idea of the silhouette because the heaviness of the color and the weightiness of the sole it gives the illusion of a bit of a, a slimmer ankle or a slimmer calf, balancing out some of the top heavy elements of this outfit. But another great way to wear this loafer with lots of little bits of skin showing. Very, very mid-century mentality I'm projecting onto you here. Oh, we've seen a bit of ankle. Oh my, a bit of wrist. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll stop there. I'm going nuts. Now, folks, you've already seen me style up this loafer very discreetly in the clips before, so I'm not going to repeat myself. We know what it's all about. All right, key piece number six in anyone's wardrobe is some knitwear, but preferably a long cardigan or a jumper dress. And this kind of served both purposes. This jumper dress, which I have worn on several occasions, but love to keep it in the packaging for dramatic effect. I mean, who doesn't love the crinkling of plastic? This is a cardigan. Oh, sorry, my, my rack is actually stealing my thunder. All right, let me get in the foreground here. Actually, maybe I should zoom you out. Shall I zoom? Can we zoom? No, we can't zoom out any further. Okay. Technical issues. This cardigan also doubles up as a jumper dress. You can undo these buttons and open it up and just stick your jeans or a casual top underneath, a little roll neck, however you like to style it. This dress is so, so versatile. I have been wearing this basically as my uniform around the house. A little cinch with a belt if you want it to turn it into a dress. Buttons back up in a lovely oatmeal neutral 
knit. It's not figure hugging, it's not tight, you can make it your own, you can cinch it in with a belt. So versatile and will suit any body shape. Now just adding to the long cardigan trend, which is not really a trend, it's kind of just a key piece to any wardrobe. I also have to mention this. Now this is a cardigan, kind of falls into two categories here. This is a cardigan, but it's also a blazer. This I have not seen another designer do. This is by Oriton. When I saw this, I had to snap it up because I just have never seen this before and I haven't seen any other designers replicate it either. But correct me if I'm wrong, perhaps they have since then. But so far, <laughs> Oriton is the only brand that I've seen do this and this is such a wonderful, versatile piece of clothing to have in your wardrobe. If there was one thing I had to pick in this entire video to recommend to you, it would be this blazer. It's comfy and cozy and yet the tailoring of it makes you look so chic and put together and just elevates an everyday outfit just perfectly. Now I'm going to step back from the camera a little here because my makeup has basically slid off my face because I have unashamedly been using a plastic bag to pop over my head to remove my turtlenecks over my head without getting makeup on my knitwear. It's a little hack there. You should really be using a face washer or a tea towel of some variety. However, time and all that, I just used a bed, bath and table bag that's been lying around here for goodness knows how long. Let me just get rid of that. <laughs> so glamorous. Now I'm not going to go on too much about this outfit because you've actually seen this before in my Easter videos. I will link them up above. Worn that for my two Easter videos uh, and absolutely fallen in love with this look. I suggest when you're going for a jumper dress or even a cardigan go for a size that is a little bit over what you'd usually buy so you have lots of room to play with cinching in that waist with some leather goods because leather goods are what we get to indulge in at this time of year because it's the only statement we can really make with our clothing that's otherwise very much neutral tones or shades of black. So being able to get out your accessories and have a bit of a play and elevate really really basic pieces with belts such as this, this one's from Witchery, dresses from H&M is really fun and paired it with once again the loafers. So we are reusing and recycling everything in this vlog. Wow, cardigan number two. It never fails to deliver. I have really gotten into character for this look. This is the cardigan slash blazer. And yes, I went deliberately oversized because I really, really loved this look. Had a real nod to the 80s. We could add a belt to this to cinch this in. However, I love this just relaxed, floaty 80s mum style actually in fact because i've been to japan many times a lot of women in japan love the look of basically a long blazer with a skirt underneath very very feminine and i thought i'd go all out with my accessories i have here a new acquisition to my eyeball sockets and that is a pair of glasses that I use for seeing out of because without them I am as blind as a bat. So yes, when I'm vlogging I really don't know what I am doing. So you you know better than I what's going on right now. Well now I can actually can actually see which is great. So one thing I don't like about this outfit is the cream of this blazer is quite a yellow cream. So I may not have paired it with this tone of beige. It's got a beige tank underneath. But I do think it's nice with the light sage green skirt underneath. And once again, we're using the old favorite, the loafer. Feeling like a very, very stylish granny with this look. And I'm so here for it. I'm embracing. I'm embracing the changes that come with age ahead of time. Trend piece or key piece number seven is the pleated skirt. Last year, or actually over the last few years, many designers have had a play around with the pleated skirt or the midi skirt with a slouchy jump look. Now I admit I have never worn this type of look before but I am so intrigued. So I picked up a pleated skirt in a sage green and a black from H&M. Have already tried both of them on and absolutely love the quality and love the feminine floatiness of it. It is just so pretty to wear and feels amazing on. Not to mention these pleats 
are amazingly creaseless. That's the beautiful thing about pleats is that you can sit down and run around in them and they'll kind of just straighten themselves out. So really, really happy with this skirt. So exciting to style this look up with you. I feel like this is going to be one of those looks that make you look really, really like you know what you're doing when literally you've just piled on a jumper and a skirt and perhaps some loafers and all of a sudden you're a fashionista. Yes, yes, and hell yeah. This is exactly what I envisioned this look would be. I feel just so chic right now. There's just something... Where was I before my battery died? There's just something about a floaty skirt with an oversized top and it's the draping. The draping just makes anybody look super chic. I'm so happy that fashion has moved away from all the tight form fitting dresses and skivvies and really embraced the more relaxed cozy look. This just feels so cozy. I am so comfortable like you wouldn't believe. I would happily go about my day. This is such a casual outfit dressed like this. Cannot rate the skirt highly enough from H&M. Paired this with a Kmart knit from last season. Got my wear's worth out of this top as well. It was so affordable. Such an affordable outfit, reusing the loafers. This is just a wonderful, wonderful use of reusing what we have in our wardrobes already and putting it together and having a play. This is the finest example of recycling and reducing consumer waste are these key capsule pieces right here. Now I correct myself, this pleated skirt from H&M is in the navy. It didn't come in a black ironically. They're still available so I'll link them in the description box. May not go with this top, I'm not quite sure. I feel like I'm giving babushka with this outfit, just very <laughs> Russian grandmother but I really do actually quite like it and I feel like the chunky loafers create a nice modern edge to this very classic feminine outfit so I actually surprisingly really love this color combo and the clashing of different fabrics and thoughts and feelings I'm getting far 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 too profound for this fashion video okay for the final key piece to your autumn wardrobe I highly recommend you get a big box and put a brand new trench coat in it <laughs> Now, it's a bit hard to see, obviously, under the plastic, but this is a fully black trench coat with tortoise buttons. Okay, we really can't see. Let me just take care of that. This just reminds me of The Nanny. Do you remember that show? It's so hilarious. I watch it to this day. The Nanny's mum, Sylvia, that's her name. Oh, so hilarious. She used to keep her couch covered in plastic so it wouldn't get ruined. I don't really see myself as the same category as Sylvia, and yet, here we are. Uh, it's six o'clock, comb your father's hair. Morty, we we live without you? Part it on the right, it stays better in the wind. Okay, now we can see the beauty of this black trench. Now this is in a, I'll find the material for you and give you more detail when I style it up, but this is a very light trench coat, so it's not in a heavy material, it's in a natural fibre. It doesn't come with an adjustable sleeve, which I have to say did bother me because I think a trench coat should have a button sleeve to adjust if you want to make it a three-quarter sleeve situation. However, you can remedy this by popping a little elastic hidden underneath the sleeves of the jacket. But the way that it sat, the tailoring, the slight oversized look to it, and also the fact that it was a bit cooler really appealed to me because I find when you go out these days in a coat and then you step into the supermarket or you step into a shopping mall, or even someone's home, you are instantly kind of boiling hot and need to take off all your outerwear because they seem to really compensate for the weather outside by turning up that thermostat just a little bit too high. And the beauty of this jacket is that it is quite light so that you don't need to take it off and you can wear it like a beautiful piece of clothing that is totally suitable for the season and you don't have to lug it around with you. I did promise you I would say what the fabric was of this trench coat. It is made in Lyocell, which has become very popular in clothing recently. The last hurrah, I can't believe it. And this is the first time me trying on this trench 
after unboxing it and let's let's take a moment to just really appreciate a statement piece like this because that's exactly what this trench coat is it is not just a piece of outerwear it is actually this is an outfit this is an all-in-one outfit I don't even have to wear anything wonderful underneath because it is all about this piece I have left my pleated skirt on from the previous clip and the loafers and just decided to plonk this over my brassiere <laughs> because this is exactly how I intended to wear this trench coat as basically a trench dress it is just fantastic well it is a bit oversized um, but it fits my shoulders rather well because I have broad shoulders but the lapels I'm not sure if you can see in the light here the lapels are just beautifully angular I thought I'd flip you so I can show you the Oh, I'm being summoned show you just how wonderful the lapels have been placed at just the right height on the bust to really give a dramatic feel yet a conservative feel to this neckline this coat pairs very very well with the chunky loafer however if you wanted to bulk up the bottom a bit which perhaps I might have done I probably wear a knee-high boot with this the wonderful thing about this trench is that it comes with a really nice secure thick waist belt which is great with very secure belt loops and if you wanted to you could ruche up the sleeves with an elastic but I rather like it all the way down to the wrist so this is the grand finale of what has been a really inspiring fashion video for me I'm going to create a little lookbook of these outfits so these will be my go-to for the next few months of the year well in fact even up until and through winter so I have got my outfits sorted feeling good feeling unexpectedly very inspired very driven and very pleased with myself to be quite frank as you can see under dim light this really does look like an all-in-one dress it's just it's got everything it's got this beautiful cinched in waist it's got some nice bulk to the top so you can have a bit of poof at the bottom I really love poofing out the pockets that gives a bit of bulk to this outfit and really creates that exaggerated waistline which I absolutely love to do little hack there if you want to just elevate your outfits is just have a bit of a play have a bit of a fiddle poke things out bulk things up because bigger is better okay eight pieces a whole lot of mess let me know what you think now we all have different budgets and different lifestyles and things that we are obligated to so I'm not suggesting in this video that you need to go out and buy these things a lot of these things that you've seen today have been in packaging for quite some time and then put back in <laughs> because as you know I have a thing about packaging I love that feeling of being like oh I have a parcel and yet I have not it's just been sitting there for a bit and uh <laughs> <laughs> makes it feel like it's brand new but when you bring these key pieces into your wardrobe say that blazer that I've had a few years and the waistcoat okay so there were quite a few new pieces here <laughs> but these are going to be in my rotation year after year after year and a lot of you already will have these pieces in your wardrobe it's just a matter of finding them putting them on your rail or sticking them over your wardrobe door so you remember to wear them and use them and be seasonally appropriate if that is at all your thing and this is how I consume content I see the girlies I see what they're wearing I take in what I need I don't take in what I don't need and often I will actually not buy what they are trying to sell me unless it is a totally key piece or a really affordable find that is just Mm. like for example if I was to suggest anything out of this haul I would say the loafers because they are so budget friendly and the quality is so excellent All Saints are selling loafers like these for $350 to $400 and H&M are selling them for $100 it's a no-brainer so basically I'm here just to share with you some really amazing finds that I happen to find that you may also like all the links are in the description another key piece out of this haul is 
if you can bring it into your budget. I was lucky enough to get this on an extreme discount because there's actually some damage to this cardigan, which I have, <laughs> you can't see because it's around the back, but it had a stain on it and I got a quite significant discount in store. So I was lucky enough there that I was able to secure that because as you know me, I do not buy anything unless there is a discount involved. But this is another amazing find. And if you also happen to find a, another company that are doing blazer cardigans that are not Oroton, go out, have a look, do some Googling. There are lots of possibilities out there and often when pieces like this come out a lot of the other fast fashion retailers just start calling up their homies consulting typing looking <laughs> visualizing manufacturing and away it goes so these are just my suggestions all the links to the pieces that i have worn today will be in that description box thanks for coming along for this video please let me know if you liked any of the suggestions or if you are wearing any of the suggestions that i have suggested i'm getting autumn winter hangry again i don't know about you guys out there but when the weather changes and it gets just slightly colder i'm just i'm in hibernation mode i just want to eat and sleep all day long quite happily and it's very distracting okay i do love a good conclusion as you can see and a really you know unnecessarily long intro so i'm going to leave this video here i'll see you next week guys Take care and enjoy expressing yourself through fashion.